Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about the real execution site of Queen Anne Boleyn. The reason this is, is that there is a lot of confusion over where the real site actually was. So in this video I will show you the real site and also tell you a bit about it and where you need to actually stand if you want to stand in the place that she was actually executed. During the winter and spring of 1876 and 1877, restoration work was carried out on the Chapel of St Peter, the Tower of London Chapel. It was also at this time that it was decided to construct a memorial tablet listing those who were buried in the chapel on the wall near the entrance door. And a few years earlier, a memorial plaque had been placed on a railed off area of Tower Green in memory of those who had met their deaths there. A new memorial was unveiled on Tower Green on September the 4th, 2006. This new memorial, the one that visitors see today, its aim is to provide visitors with a focal point for remembrance and reflection. It features two engraved glass circles, listing those executed on Tower Green. And on the 19th of May, the anniversary of Anne Boleyn's execution, people leave flowers on it as well as in the chapel. However, the memorial does not mark the site of the scaffold used for Anne Boleyn, Catherine Howard and Lady Jane Grey. And neither does it mark the site of the scaffold used for the likes of Thomas More, Thomas Cromwell and George Boleyn. That site is on Tower Hill and is marked by plaques listing the names of those executed there. What also needs to be remembered is that the Tower of London in 1536 was very different to the present day tower. In 1536, the building known today as the Queen's House did not exist. This also was not where Anne Boleyn was imprisoned, as this building was not built until around 1540. Anne was imprisoned in the Queen's lodgings, which is no longer standing. Anne met her death on the present day gravelled parade ground between the White Tower and the Waterloo Block. At this point in the video where I am currently stood, is pretty much where she was actually executed. I will also link a picture above um, just to show you exactly where it was, but this is more or less it. I will however describe to you exactly where you need to stand. So you need to stand between the White Tower and the entrance to the Waterloo Block Crown Jewels, and you will be standing where Anne Boleyn was executed. If you look on the above photo, which was taken from the present day Glass Memorial, you can see the Waterloo Block on the left and the White Tower, with its barriers and scaffold around it on the right, and people walking between the two. The people are walking where the scaffold site was located, just above the Yeoman Warder's hat. That brings us to the end of this video. If you have enjoyed, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more creepy and morbid history videos. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Samantha and I will see you next time.